Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. So do you know what? I have got a needle there, a sewing needle. And I've got, I'm using this because it's kind of like thick enough. So I'm using this. I've also used this in the past, like for crocheting. Uh, but as I say, it's thick enough and um, I like it. These are some skills which you, you learn you know, as you go along. So do you know what? As the word of God says, it is more easy. It is more easy for what? For is it a... Is it a camel? It says like for a camel to go through the eye of the needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so, but also talking about that, we have to know that with God, all things are possible. So even though it's difficult, you know, because I was, I was really, like, really struggling to actually have this go in. And so God says it is more easy for a camel to go through here than for a rich man um, to go to heaven um, because you know because they, they put their trust you know in their riches okay so do you know what I'm gonna show you can you be able to say this is a back stitch and then at the back this is how it it, sh it shows so do you know what I'm gonna let me see if I can show you this is where this is where I left it from. So do you know what? I put a knot towards the end. Wow, it's a long, long uh, thread. So I put uh, a knot there so that, you know what? It helps like to put a stop, you know? So do you know what? Um, we don't like knots in the hair, but see where knots are. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, yeah, this is what I'm gonna, you know, just, pull it out somehow and then I'm going to sew that area a number of times you know just to make it strong I would not like you know like knots to be all over but however it has God has used that to help us so do you know what I'm just going to cut off cut off you know this and because I have sewed that place a couple of times I could even do that again three times okay so um, wow you know um, okay so this is there how oh, can you say this is how we do backstitch which actually next time it'll be easy when I'm actually showing okay so we go there and then you will keep going forward don't tend to the left don't tend to the right don't tend backwards go forward and so we keep on it's like we 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 pick it up from the back we are forward and then we with the needle we go back where the place where there is no thread and then we keep moving forward in that way every space is covered okay we are covered by the blood of our lord jesus christ you know love charity covers a multitude of sins we overcome the devil we are overcome the enemy by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimonies and we do not love our life unto death. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. So do you know what? Wow. You know what? May God help us because he is helping us. There's a little, a little, you know, thread. I mean, a little, um, fabric in it. But you know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do double. So whereas I've made this line uh, of backstitch, I'm gonna bring in another one, maybe here, yeah, maybe here, you know, to make it double, to make it strong. And you know what? Hopefully, I'm gonna be able to write in you know, on the word of God, which I'm actually thinking in my mind, in my heart. You know, two is better than one. For when one falleth, the other one will raise the other one up. You know. And also two is better than one 
when the other one is cold the other one will warm the other praise the lord and you know what i'll tell you it doesn't matter if you know the other person is having problems of you know trauma of suffering trauma of memory issues or you know whereby the you know because maybe of anger they could they could be refusing you but you know what if you know you were married if you know you are married by the grace of god regardless of <laughs> whatever the troubles the trials you know you who has understanding you do what you believe you need to do you know uh because you know if for instance the other person falls and and for you as well you go like ah do you know what i'm not gonna help them because they have done so much evil and i'm telling you both of you are falling staying fallen and we should be wise as a serpent and as harmless as a dove so do you know what charity covereth a multitude of sins love covereth a multitude of sins there's a word of god who says he he who confesses uh his sin shall prosper uh, but he who hides basically his sin shall not prosper praise the lord what time is it oh it's about almost one o'clock in the morning praise the lord you know what i have for a long time thought of um, because i did make this cut of you know it's a it's a bag you know like um a cloth bag definitely <laughs> and you know i have been looking at it passing it <laughs> I just never had a chance to actually um, to actually do this. And you know what? For me to actually sit down, I, I it wasn't as, as if I was lazy. I wasn't lazy, but I just had other things. Some more other things were coming. Some more other things were coming. So this is a breakthrough. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. This is a breakthrough whereby the Lord has helped that we can actually sow. Do you know why? Yesterday I was literally, uh, when I was actually thinking of there is a time and a season for everything under the heavens. Ecclesiastic 3, time to sow and a time to rent. And so I was literally, as I was uh, reading that part, I was thinking, ah, I've got things to sow. So do you know what? God was actually giving that word in order to encourage so you know what you are about to sow you know see sewing brings together see there were like two things here okay like on this part on this part okay what i've done is there is lining lining inside which is you know showing here and then the main material okay i'm not so you know uh don't really know this much of the language of sewing i think i know but it's kind of like you know hiding there um so do you know what okay there are two two materials here two materials and so do you know what with sewing we bring them together in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ and do you know what whatsoever the lord doeth it is forever nothing can be added to it nothing can be taken from it so do you know what hmm Oh, I, I, I commit the sowing to the Lord that it is him who is actually doing it. You know, the, the, the broken, the broken, uh, the broken love, the broken hearts, the broken, uh, you know, friendships, you know, the broken marriages. Whew. God is bringing them together, <laughs> sowing them together, the broken dreams, the broken businesses. Praise the Lord. Don't take, you know, this, this word of encouragement, you know, for granted. God is encouraging us. Praise the Lord. And you know what? Don't be moved. If some things, they don't seem even, you know, I'm just, you know, like I'm at the top there and I have to make sure it's secure. Do you know what? We are secure in the Lord. We are safe in the Lord. We run. Oh, Lord Jehovah, we run to the strong tower. Um, we run to our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. 
and we are safe. And you know what? There at the end, we actually cut off the thread. You gotta, even though the thread, you know, was actually helping us, God was using it to help us, but you know what? It's time for it to go. So uh, we can actually, I'm just making this even. You know, so even if it wasn't even before, when you got the right materials, we got a scissor there, but it's not just a scissor. We've got, you know, we are, we are so needed in this. You know, we are God's weapons. A battle axe. <laughs> He's made us instruments as having teeth. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. We are God's battle axe. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know what? Huh? I'm making this even. You know, God has taught our hands to war and our fingers to fight. You know what? Huh? You can tell that it is even. So do you know what? Huh? Then I'm going to go to the other side. So this is what I did. Okay, so how do we do this? Because with the ruler, with the ruler, and you know what? We are... We are rude people, rude people by our God. We have seen how, how failing it is, you know, for the rulership of this world. But you know what, first and foremost, we are rude by God. Okay, how do we do this? Do you know what, I'm just going to try and make it face that way. Do you know what, soon I'm going to finish. Anyway, oh, it's about, the video is about 11 minutes. Do you know what, let me... See if I can pause it. Praise the Lord. We're back. So anyway, I started, you know, sewing from there. And I'm doing backstitch. So it's literally bringing these materials together. Look. They are together now. <laughs> they are together now. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So in the spirit as well. You know, cloth which should be together. I'm just talking about, you know, families. You know, um, we pray for cleansing. We pray for covering by the blood of Jesus. We pray for love. Love, husbands and wives, children. <laughs> you know, brethren, brothers, sisters, whether aunties, uncles. You know, it is the blood of Jesus that binds us together. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, it is the word of God that binds us together. Light and darkness can not, you know, cannot be, um, you know, cannot be together. You know, glory be to the Lord. You see, uh, it is dark out, you know, uh, and then, you know, you switch on, you know, electricity, you know, darkness has to run away. Darkness has to flee in an instant. Hallelujah, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so, do you know what? Uh, as God said, you know, uh, through our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit at the beginning of creating the earth, he says, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that it was good. Hallelujah. So, may love, may love of God join, you know, uh, his body, his body together. No need for the body to be dismembered. I pray in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ for revival. Where there was death, let there be life in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, um, prophecy to the dry bones, Ezekiel 37. Or prophesy to these bones, they shall live. <laughs> Ooh, the shaking of, and I'm a shaking of the bones. Hallelujah. <laughs> An army shaking, hallelujah. Bones going back, you know, each one. You know, see this bone, for instance, it has to go back. You know, it has to go back to this part. It, it cannot back go to, to the to the to the head. It gotta go to the right place. So you know right now we prophesy, you know, life to the bones, alive to the sinews, life, you know, to um where the arteries, veins. Every part of the body that was dead, let there be life now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I'm just going to stop this video so I can refill the thread. 
I have at this point in time, you know, like a sewn at the place about three times, so it's secure, you know. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so we are getting that. Uh, let me just stop this for a little bit. Glory be to the Lord. So, do you know what? I have sewed uh, here and there. God has uh, helped us to do it. And I'm really hoping to put like dub another double line. Okay, so here we actually go like that. I'm going to bring it back, you know, uh, the way it was uh, before as well. I'm just trying to show you um, how now these two or four pieces of cloth they are now turning into something that is functional, you know. Wow, that's a, that's a, that's a big one, isn't it? You know, praise the Lord. Oh, there are flowers there. There's, uh, you know, like uh, branches, leaves. Do you know what? I am, um, that reminds me of, um, you know, um, John 15, where God is saying we are the branches, you know. So, do you know what? I'm just going to really try to level it up, you know, even it up. Um, let me see. Um, I have to tell you, this is, I I am, I've done some, a bit of sewing, like when I was in primary school. I used to do some doors. <laughs> I used to make some doors for myself, you know, when I was little. I, I was even making some hair. <laughs> okay, 30. Um, let's see, 30. I'm just trying to, 70. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise you, the Lord. 30, let's see. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's see how it is. Okay. Do you know what? I'm just going to try and level it up. Even it up. So it's easy. You know, there's going to be some, a bit of mess on the floor, which you clean up. Don't, don't leave it in a lying dirty. Okay, so a scissors, even a, a, a razor blade, you know, uh, you need those things. And you know what? <laughs> um, I'm doing this as I go along. So do you know what? Oh, yeah, we need a scissors there. You know, our materials, we need thread, we need a needle. I've got a machine, you know, in the other house. Uh, I just haven't had time. Um, to actually really learn how to use it. Okay. So, do you know what? Wow. Praise the Lord. It's, it's almost leveled up. Wow. Do you know what? That's a, that's a, a long, big bag. So, I think what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do is just um, fold this in on the other side as well. Fold this in so that it levels up and if i that's better so see um so what i'm gonna do is you know uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna have a look it's either i could do a, what they call a running stitch and just reminds me run we run you know, are we are you in trouble? Pray. That praying is running. And do our Lord Jesus Christ run into the strong tower where we hide. Okay. So do you know what? This is at the top. Okay. And so I'm gonna do first like a running stitch. This running stitch is kind of like you know trying to bring them together so that when I'm now doing a back stitch, it's easy to actually do it. But just like a you know what next time I'll be able to show you you know properly because um, I have to there's no way I can hold the phone and show show you what I'm doing now but this is like a quick you know instead of it's not even a backstitch you just go like that you go another place go like that you know as much as you think this is helpful to just temporarily temporarily you know um bring this cloth together so i can be able to come and do a back stitch
stitch right praise the lord so do you know what i'm gonna show you what this running stitch hopefully it shows how it looks like okay see that's called like a running stitch you know glory to the lord so i'm gonna oh it's 20 minutes but praise the lord um anyway do you know what just for the purposes of you know finishing this now and just putting putting it together really by the grace of god i've just done a running stitch here i'm gonna you know come and do uh back stitch and inside as well i'm gonna do like a, another double stitch another back stitch you know to make them double on either side but i've got this strap praise the lord it was already there before so um just you know make it uh, i'm just gonna put it there do you know what i'm just gonna do another running stitch but it's gonna be like you know double because i'm gonna do one another one um you know by the grace of the lord so wow it's gonna be uh hard thank you lord jesus because you're talking about double and double clothes Whew, praise the lord that is done okay Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, do you know what? Um, how can I put it? We, we thank God through our Lord Jesus Christ, you know, in, in, in everything. But you know what? These temporary, temporary measures, they are not there really for a long time, are they? Okay, let's see. Um, okay, so I'm just going to do another box. Do you know what? I think another way I could do it is you know make it so it going this way instead of going that way i could make it go that way uh let's try that way and put this together in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ so do you know what never never be stuck never run out of ideas see how you know the children of israelites they needed to cross the red sea they had run out of ideas they cried unto the lord you know, cried unto the Lord and God gave, you know, wisdom to Moses, you know, to use the road, to use what he had already in his hands. Hallelujah. <laughs> what he already had in his hands. And you know what? See, God is actually using what I have in my hands. This in order to reveal, you know, to reveal the breakthrough, the breakthrough. To give us water on the way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm going to, you know, I'll, I'll just, you know, they're, they're together. <laughs> we are together. I'm together. I'm together with my family. We are, we are together. We are seated. It's permanent. It's permanent though. Whatever, whatsoever the Lord doeth, it's forever. It is permanent. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wow. This. Okay. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. So now if I knew how to actually use the machine, I could just, you know, quickly use it, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, so do you know what? Let's see how this. Sorry, it's 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 um uh, I'm I'm in my pajamas. This could be, but you know what? It's actually the right, the right size. It looks like the strap is kind of like, um, you know, like um, two, two much. I think that's all right, you know, because you'll be putting in, you know, some stuff in there. Okay, here, I think the best is to do like I did here, to sew it running this way. So do you know what? Praise the Lord. We are, we are done. We are done temporarily. Praise the Lord, but we are together in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I love you. I love you. I love you. God bless you. And God loves us so much. It is God, you know, that helps us, you know, who leads us, who guides us. He's everything to us. He's our healer. He's our provider. He's our everything. We give you thanks, Lord. Uh, we praise you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, good morning. God bless you.